this is going to just a preliminary. This is going to be a this is just the next step is going to be a very thorough endeavor. Try to figure out how to develop the properties and then how to go about the variances and all that. Well, I'm pretty much assuming, except if you go with the least minimum, you're going to have to refile. Um, unless you go with the four, anything else is going to need a filing. And even with the four, there may still be a variance necessary for the size of the house. Why is that in red up there? What is that red? That you don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's a good driveway. It's a good driveway. It's a good driveway. Shared shared value, huh? Yeah. That's shared? Oh, yeah, that's the upside. That's the upside. Right. So you're obviously in a very early stage of your grant project. You're still looking into all these ideas and you need any input. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'd, we'd like to know if the community has any concerns or any thoughts on, on any of this. Um, to be able to help direct us. And there was obviously some miscommunication between the city and the assessor. And, uh, I think somebody bypassed the city with the recording of that parcel, but nevertheless, I mean, I've, I've had to either have to come to the conclusion that we're only going to build uh, four as opposed to five, or three as opposed to four, and, um, and just build it as it is <coughs> with no parcel in that whole subdivision. Or if we're going to go through it, let's try and get some houses and some lives on Glenfield Circle, because I, if, if I build any of these, they're all going to be on the upper or the down slope, you know, construction style, which is just going to it's not going to make it worse, but it's, it's not going to improve, uh, you know, the eyes on on Winfield Circle. And believe me, I, you know, I lived on the the two eight zero two Chenoweth Circle, and it wasn't once a week. I mean, it was every night, every night. Either cars being dropped off and stripped, or I mean, just trash and trash and trash. You know? Not city red bikes. I mean, like people coming and dumping, you know, yeah. demolition. Yes, yeah. it's, it's amazing. Um, you know, we're going to be built to say single homes in the or whatever. Would you want to then to be facing Chadwick or? No, no. I, the, the ease of construction is, is certainly on the down slope side, okay. so they'd be, they'd be up top. So, have you talked to the people up there? Is it about, about having houses built there? I mean, just in case they get their opinion about it? About on the, on the, on the, on the Chadwick circle, there's homes up there um, on Chadwick. So, What's what their consensus of, of having homes built there? What do they say? Have you talked to people at all? I haven't talked to anybody. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could certainly just do it by right, right now, right slope or down slope, but you know, obviously we would go with down slope. It's, it's much easier from a construction standpoint. It's cheaper, right? It's cheaper from a construction standpoint, but then you've also got the advantage of having the view from you know, right. 40 feet up as opposed to from right. below. You don't want to look at the back of my house on you know, the back of the do or whatever that is. Yeah, whatever that is. Knowing it's going to be four or eight or ten, and that doesn't make a difference too. I mean, sure. Just knowing how many houses you're trying to build there or what you're trying to build there. I mean, just, yeah. Yeah. Just, this is something I think overview of what you would look at the way that you're going to of what you would want to do and then put it out there and see what kind of community input you get from that. You're looking for an answer now, because I can give it to you. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, obviously in some division, and of course, I'm going to have to take that two years. So, you know, Carrying costs, I mean, all that stuff would add up. And I, I, I think, unless it was, you know, close to in between 1.5, you know, coefficient of 1.5 to 2 of what the existing buildability would be, I don't care for so. I think I would just build what we can by the way. I mean, thank you. I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, unless it could get at least two more lots, if not three or four, you know. We, we, could, we could put a couple of scenarios up, A, B, C, and D. In fact, I'm experimenting with a website that is actually has proposed projects up there, and if Matt doesn't mind, yeah, I'll put it on that website. Um, that way all the community members are really And 
Yeah. So it's quite a lot. So the Exposed Foundation is an issue on Hillside Hill and like that.
vecinos, the vecinos, uh, concerned neighbors, concerned neighbors. So they're they're aware, and we had a meeting with them not uh, not so long ago as well. I think actually last week, uh, informing them that hey, we're, it's, it's on the list. It's just DOT engineering finding funds, and the funds they go after were federal monies uh, to to uh, do crosswalk. Oh, yeah, is, we I we don't know. I know. Chief of Staff is, is meeting with DOT sometime in the next couple of weeks just to push this forward. Um, but we're, we're hoping to get this done as soon as possible. Again, it's just a matter of funding. This is the next one of the sidewalk to the Hamilton? Yeah. That is something we put in as a proposed project uh, from last year with a metro, metro call for projects. So MTA has a, a fund where each council office, office can apply for, for funds for a specific project. So we did uh, apply for that, and from what I was uh, told, that we, the funds will, will they, they, they did qualify uh, to receive funds. We're just waiting on, on disbursement timeline. What does that mean? Um, I don't know a specific number, but I, I can report back with that. Okay. So that includes the sidewalk for through Metro call for projects with mm -hmm. MTA, and then, um, like, I, like I said, the, the second traffic study did pass. So just looking for funds. Do you have anything to add? And just to add on, I mean, we're we're installing. You know, again, if, if this helps, we're installing uh, uh, slow down signs, speed limit signs around that area, and also. Um, uh, a playground sign that says, hey, there's a playground nearby. You know, at least that uh, gives uh, you know, people that drive by, uh, you know, think and say, hey, let me slow down, or there's kids crossing. So, okay. One thing to consider is, is, I mean, if it does go up, like kind of Mohamra, of course, that S curve, if, it's, if people are backed up and you know, like I say, you know, it's down fast. Yeah. If, by the time you turn, if you can't see them, you will be, you know, too late to stop it. So, yeah, we should. Then the, there's a single thing, you say, okay, two part that aren't aware of it, but just feel up speed by, you know, it's like, hey, somebody. Yeah, well, that has to do it. We had this, like I said, we met with this group, group with the group, which included uh, uh, Val Marquez mm -hmm. and the, uh, his group. Uh, uh, LAPD was there, Rec and Park in our office. And office, so we, you know, LAPD is going to reach out to Alhambra PD as well. And, right. So they could do their part on Alhambra, uh, you know, be vigilant, be there, and ticket people that. That's the uh, we could right. usually the accidents happen are people coming from all numbers. Right, I'm saying. Yeah, because it's I mean it's already a momentum going up that curve, but when you're coming down that curve, yeah, that's the other thing. So the rain is it's, it's wet down there, I mean it's, it's the ground wet, forget about it. You well yeah, plus you know there's also the that, that bottom of the base, that bottom of the hill there is also the the almost where the, the former stream that would came out that break right down going three south towards the uh, Going down the parallel of 710. Yeah, and then something that came up from that meeting last week, Alhambra, uh, it's it's, uh, it's certification for LAPD to use radar has expired, so we're to you know to get people that are speeding. So uh, we're in the process of certifying that with LADOT, so they can start using radar and, and catch those people that are, are speeding. Yeah, good that so. I don't know, just series of streets throughout the city that are so weird. Is there any public comment in first position in regards to the S curve on the highway? I think you're recycling this. A couple of businesses, yeah. uh, you know, from there. And yeah, you see a lot of police activity, especially given issuing uh, speeding tickets. Yeah. And, and do people, you know, do drivers. Yeah, I think we've asked LAPD to be there to be vigilant. You know, most of the time it's about as a policing issue. Um, but, yeah. It's uh, yeah. Officer Morales and Cassini. See, the thing is that it's not a, it's not a patrol, it's actually a motorcycle, right? Yeah. I think it's sharing? Yeah. Or? It's, uh, no, it's uh, through their central traffic division. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you hardly see any police activity in regards to like uh, patrols? Do you hardly see any? Yeah, Only Central motorcycles. Central Division. That's Officer um, Belmonte. Just a thought. I was at a neighborhood watch meeting up in the North Geek by Occidental. Yeah. And I know the North Geeks are.
cars and said that they have a detail, traffic detail, mm -hmm. a couple cars that primarily that go out to hot spots where constituents are making complaints about traffic issues. Yeah. Then they hit these spots, whether it's illegal curbside parking <coughs> and red zones um, on Huntington or, 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 or speed, but speed along corridors like the, by the S turn. Does all of that have anything like that? Yeah, that you may know about? Not that I know a special group or task force, mm -hmm. but we, again, we, our office works with not only uh, uh, LAP, but traffic enforcement, you know, uh, but I mean, I'll, I'll ask if there's a special group, but I know like, something always comes up, but always in communication with LAP, and, and one of those hotspots is, you know, the S group. Yeah, I saw LAP was doing pretty good business on Seoul the other day, now about Washington. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that input on that concern. So, are there any other questions regarding that item? Mm -hmm. How soon is that going to take? Thank you so much. How soon is the lag going to be? That's what Lily said they were still going to work on it, but we'll know as soon as possible. No, no, no. Once again, that lag even, the study out there had a lag considered. That was until the first time. So then there was no lights in the field. Right. And had another one to not pass, so that, that's at least the hurdle that they crossed. Yeah, now, just a, like another side tack on that. Um, at one time, when they were talking about building a connector road off the end of the freeway there, which would have fed into Alhambra Road and Valley, there was $10 million of federal money yeah. set aside for that. I think Mike, you know, you've heard this one before. Yeah. And he noticed that. Uh, the money was directly earmarked for, for traffic from to that area. Okay. Yeah. And so, hmm. and I know that's still a contention after where the money ended up going because, as you know, the connector road idea was cool, but the money was already out of it. So, so was it for the I know, yeah, it wasn't for the reverting bill, right? And it, the, the Rogan bill, Rogan. Going all the way back to the congressman. Congressman now, Judge Rogan. Um, but uh, I know Val's been all around, so I love Val. He'll know more about that issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we move on to item seven. Is there any director committee member announcement? Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we're calling an adjournment at seven. Oh, two. It's a record. Seven oh two. Yeah. Seven oh two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, let's adjourn the meeting. No, uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 I thought it was in. Let me know. See what else is going on out there in the world today. Thank you so much for coming. Also, thank you for coming by. Yeah, thanks. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs>